We're Echo Smith, Smith, and we're on the spot. Oh, Second my favorite band, band. Uh, The Smiths. Oh, it's so hard. Uh, Coldplay? The Killers? Oh, they're my number one. An Echo Smith tribute band probably would be called Aerosmith. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think, um, like, the cool kids would be a... Oh, it's so cheesy. I know, it it's hurts. So che- but they, it has it to be hurts. cheesy. It has to be yeah, painful. Yeah, usually. Yeah, that or, like, Echo Schwartz. That's what we always call ourselves. This yeah. is a joke. Yeah. Echo Schwartz. I like that. Yeah. It could be, like, someone else's, like, family name, you know? Yeah. The Schwartz family fa- formed a tribute band to Echo Smith. In the next five years, we want to tour as much as we can and keep yeah. growing our touring fan base because we love being on the road so much and we see so much value in that and connecting with our fans in a face-to-face way is so amazing and it cannot be replaced by social media and all that. So I think we can create a lot of music from now until then and yeah and also just reach as many people as we can with our new album, Only Generation. But I think by then we'd have another album too at least. There have been a lot of things that are pretty mind-blowing to think about you know, that we've gotten to actually have the opportunity to do or be a part of. I mean, being on The Tonight Show was pretty insane. Oh, yeah. Two times. Things like that, like being on TV shows that you've watched so many times, that is, those are definitely <laughs> the moments that I'm like, wait, did we actually just do that? Did I really just hang out with Jimmy Fallon and yeah. take selfies with him? And that was definitely a pinch me moment. But we've had so many of those, whether it was meeting some of our favorite bands, or playing huge festivals where, you know, thousands. I mean, we played a festival time where it was like 100,000 people and they're all singing along to our songs and that was insane. So it's been a good past five years or so. Ooh. Mm, Graham, how do you choose? Ooh, I know who. Who? Hey, Graham. Ooh. Who? You know what? Uh-huh. Lil Wayne. I would love that. He might have to add a couple like words in there I don't know if our songs are very rappable. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can throw some words in there. I like it. I'll take it. No, Eminem. That would be cool. Eminem would definitely add a lot of words. A lot of words. Yeah, I don't think we have enough lyrics to be rappable yet. (laughs) (laughs) I would say one of the biggest risks we've taken as a band was taking our time with this album. There were a lot of complications with making it, including lots of crazy things with label changes and stuff like that that were maybe not as ideal that automatically push back things but once it came to writing and recording lonely generation as it is right now we really took a step back and took our time with it and wrote even more songs than we thought that we needed and some of those songs that were the quote unquote extras ended up being some of the most important songs on this album and we've already heard so many people i mean the album has only been out for a month and we've heard so many stories of how these songs each and every one is touching people in such a special way and helping put what they're feeling into words and that just means the world to us so already the response we've gotten from this new album has made that entire process even though there were moments where it just felt really long and annoying with having to wait and things like that but it makes it so worth it when it you know really at the end of the day made it so the end result was even more personal and something that we just feel so beyond excited about and we had to go through every single thing that we went through in order to get to those exact moments to write those songs because you have to go through things in order to write songs about it you can't just write about nothing i mean you can but that's not as fun so i'm just really grateful that we took the exact amount of time because it gave us the perfect opportunities and experiences to be inspired to write all these songs so yeah for this album we've been hands-on in every part of the process and we never really had before we've been a big part of you know writing the music video stories and way more hands-on with like the production sides of the music and stuff too so to be a part of almost every aspect of the process, finding the photographers and all that. It's been really fun and a great challenge to us. That's a lot of work. But I think we're seeing already how us being a part of these processes brings out, I think, I don't know, the the intention behind the heart heart that we wanted from the beginning. And that's been really cool. Um, It's been a lot of work, but I've been really stoked on the content we've been putting out. I think it really, it honors our, our music well, and I'm really stoked on that. 
me a little design brief and you know kind of lots of pinterest boards i love pinterest i spend so much time on pinterest now so like we spend a lot of time doing that and it's been really cool to see how that does come to life and of course when you're shooting a video you're doing a photo shoot things will come up and different ideas will just happen in the moment that maybe veer slightly from that but that's fun i think it's a really important part of the creative process because I know that, that freedom allows for something that's just really beautiful and natural to come out. And I, I think we'll always keep a bit of that, but it is cool to kind of set a direction and then see how that's made into something real. I would say the greatest challenge facing youth and, I mean, a lot of people, but especially youth is finding a balance between social media and real life. It's so hard to figure out how you want to use social media and how much you're on it because it is a thing now for us to get notifications every Sunday of what our screen time was last week and those numbers terrify me and I think they terrify a lot of people because then you realize if I'm spending this much time on my phone that means I'm spending you know whatever that is subtracted in real life and that is so sad if you think about it because you put those hours together every single day and that ends up being days or possibly eventually you know months years in your life that we've just been spending like this and i think it's so difficult for all of us because we are definitely <laughs> in that youth area um to just figure out how to have a good balance between it all because it's not like social media is evil in any way and i love it actually and i love that we get to interact with so many different people in so many different ways anytime we want but it's so hard to remember how important quality relationships are you know that is so fulfilling and it's so much better for your mind and for you and your self-esteem to you know take some time off of your phone so i think that's the biggest challenge for all of us in our youth right now is just figuring that out and staying connected but also making sure we have time where we're a little disconnected from technology so we can connect maybe with ourselves or nature more. Reggae. <laughs> Graham would want to do I a reggae. I like that. Okay. Maybe we should do an, a reggae version of Echo Smith. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we could pull it off. Or country. Country, country would be I think cute. We could do country. I love country. I think that would be a fun genre for us to be in sometime. We'll start like a. Maybe heavy side metal, project. screamo. It's been a while. No, I, I <laughs> I'm too that. sensitive. My throat is too sensitive to yeah. do scream. I don't know how those people do it. Training. But yeah, it's not us. The chariot is considered scream, all right? Oh, I mean, that's like heavy. Yes. That's some heavy stuff. Yes. We band. love them. And they're so sweet. We ended up becoming friends on the, was it the first warp Tour? 2013? Yeah, 2013. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They were so sweet. And I'm pretty sure Jamie even like soloed with them or something. Yeah, he went up one time and like played along and did that. And that like. Obviously, Echo Smith isn't that scene, but like, I, I have so much respect, all of us do, for that band especially because they were so musical and so interesting. And that, like, even as people that like weren't really aware of that scene, it was a cool way to kind of enter into it, like, have a, I don't know, a good understanding of it just from that one band. They're great. Love it. They were so great and so nice. That's the best part about it. You meet people on Warp Tour. That was my favorite thing is you meet people yeah. and you have no idea what genre they might be in or what band they're in or... They could just, they could be doing merch or they could be running a nonprofit, but they may look more like they're in a band every day than, you know, someone who's actually the lead singer of a screamo band. So it's just funny how, you know, people's personalities are shown on Warp Tour and just like the way they dress and spend their time, whatever it is. And to see like how sweet so many of those people are is so cool. I love getting to have that artist to artist connection. And, you know, you never know who you're going to run into on Warp Tour. So that was one of our favorite things, doing it two years in a row. We met a lot of <laughs> a lot of fun fans on there. Ooh. If there's an Echo Smith movie, I feel like it should be like a, not horror, but thriller. Wait, sorry. Yes. Thriller is where it's like less gory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thriller would be cool. Echo of the ghost. That's a good thriller. The Echo play. of the ghost. I think <laughs> Or, you know, there's someone I've been getting this a lot lately is Felicity Jones. That's a cool one, too. Oh. So we'll reach out to both, see who's more available or who will maybe do it for cheaper or something. Yeah. Because um, I don't have millions of dollars to give them to yeah. play me. But I would probably choose one of those two, Felicity or Anna, to be me. 
in the ghost of the echo. Wait, the echo of the ghost. The ghost. Why do I say that? The echo of the ghost. Need some work. I like that. Harry Styles. You don't have Harry Styles. If anyone's going to be Harry Styles, I'm for sure Harry Styles. What? Wait. Is he tall? I said... I said Who wouldn't want the? I mean, I'll have. Let the okay. Six foot okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, or the Rock can play me. I'm cool with that. The Rock's cool. You can play anyone, as we've seen in Jumanji. Yes. Okay, who True. would play you? I think it would be like a hairstyles or Timmy Chalamet. You know, the hair. I like that. That's quite a lineup. The Rock, Felicity Jones or Anna Kendrick, and Harry Styles. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it'd be a good movie. I'll go see it. The Echo of the Ghost. Stay tuned in a theater near you. Well, there's plenty that they don't know about me. <laughs> really? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things that I've accidentally told your wife that she didn't know. Oh, about I know you. everything about. Oh, really? Yeah, because I feel like we know so much about each other because we are together constantly. Um, but it is funny because we're together so much. You know, Noah will come over to our house for band meetings, and he'll just like get a bowl out and get whipped cream and just like fill the entire bowl of whipped cream and eat it with a spoon. And well, I just, reason I just mentioned that. it as a joke. Like, oh yeah, it's like how Noah eats whipped cream out of a bowl. She's like, what? It's so good. And I felt like I was like telling on you on you accident. I didn't realize it's a secret. It's just whipped cream. But Maybe apparently nice, but it is. But I she was like, he cream. really does that? So anyway, all that to say, she we know so much about each other. Th we probably know more about each other than our own people sometimes in certain yeah. ways i guess yeah. but uh i don't think there's anything you don't i mean there's probably plenty of things actually you don't know about me um you haven't like realized my my funniness <laughs> my comedic talent <laughs> okay they don't think i'm funny yet i think you're you're unique you know they're like, oh, you're nice. Graham is completely I don't want to be just nice. Girl. I want to be. You are nice. I want to be the next Miss marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Just kidding. I cannot. She's too funny. Yeah, sorry. I'm far from that. But anyway, I don't know. There's nothing that we don't know about each other. I don't think, right, Graham? Unless you have a Ooh, secret. I do. What? I like get at yogurt places. I like getting a large. You get large at a yogurt place, huh? Instead of the medium. I like Larges are pretty big at froyo fro places. I like yeah. getting. Like a bunch of stuff and then putting more cream. Mm, yeah. Like you put the marshmallow cream on it, right? No, the whipped cream. Oh. A bunch of whipped cream. I then I put that. peanut butter on it. Do you guys I know what know I that. get before almost every band meeting in no. the morning? Yes, Taco Bell. Yeah. No, no, not no. No, sorry, Bell. Jack in the Box. You get tacos, two tacos yeah. and then you get also a breakfast check. Was I right? I used to. Now and then a Diet Coke. Tacos. Not a Diet Coke. He loves Diet Coke. I do love it. I don't That's have any like, secrets that I share. I didn't share anything. Dang it. It's because you're an open book. I can't keep secrets for the life of me, which is probably a good problem, I guess. Yeah. The biggest misconception other people have about Echo Smith is one, they think Echo Smith is two words, but it's, it's one. Not. It's one word. And then another thing is some people say, I mean, this doesn't happen as much anymore, but uh, people will be like, oh, yeah, I love Echo Smith. Oh, that bugs And trust me, I love being eco friendly. I love that. But that's not our name. <laughs> There's two consonants between the vowels, and English doesn't work that way. Yeah, so okay. we are eco-friendly, but not so much that it's like our name. E C H O. Echo e Smith, one word. That's what I always say when people ask. Oh. oh, what do you do? What kind of music is it? What's it called? And then I say it's Echo Smith, one word. That's our lesson of the day. Get it right, kids. <laughs> it's okay. We have grace if you don't. Don't yeah. worry. It's hard to know everything. Hey, we're Echo Smith. For more videos with your favorite artists, make sure you subscribe to AP TV.